All right, I took a Snapchat. A snap, snap on the phone. Oh. Hello everyone, Lorenzo here from RVT. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna be focusing on building the uh, beehive. Uh, like I said on my last video, when I found some uh, some bees on my trap, on one of my trap, and uh, it's gonna be up there on the top right. And uh, if you haven't seen the other videos where I build those traps, and uh, it's up there too and now another thing is if you want to get some shirts or anything like that it's gonna be down in the description below uh, if you want to support my channel and uh, make sure you like and subscribe too so if you haven't done that but anyway I know this is too early on to say that but um, I just want to get at least to 1,000 subscribers if you can help me out on that but anyways, I went to Home Depot, got some four sheets of plywood, and uh, I actually took the measurements and they cut it on strips. So it's gonna be a lot easier for me to uh, to you know to do the cuts. And uh, and it was nice that they uh, they actually helped me out on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unload everything up and uh, cut the strips. All right, there's something I want to point this out because I kind of knew where this measuring is for part A on this. It says that it's supposed to be 18,532. And uh, I did mark it. I was trying to mark all of them as they were cutting them. But, you know, he was actually going faster than I could catch up with him. I know he was cutting them, but I was kind of helping him... Uh, you know hold it from the other side as he was cutting so and then grabbing the next board and helping him to uh, put it on the cutter so i was kind of like lost track on some of them some measure measurements here or at least write them down i uh, did write this one down and uh and if you notice that this is 532 the measurement I have them cut them a little bit longer on purpose because I knew it was kind of close to it but I couldn't remember exactly where it was since most uh, of the measuring tapes don't have that and that's pretty much here let me get this side and that's gonna be pretty much between hold on the others it's kind of hard to do with one hand uh, it's gonna be between 18 I mean, one eighth, and uh, I believe that's oh, three, four sixteenths. So it's between one eighth and four sixteenths. Um, and like I said, I know some measuring tapes don't have that, but I just want to point that out. I also want to say that this is from uh, Dr. Leo's website, and I'm gonna put that link on the description below, since this is his plans. He also sells, you know, um, already fully built beehives. If you want to just go buy one from there, you can. But I'm making my own, so that's the ride I'm going to take on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut part A on this one. I already marked this one too, which is the same one, another part A, since there are two of them on one, from one board. And... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and this is vertical so I'm gonna kind of go ahead and cut it horizontally to the measurements listed here at 31 7 8 on both of these boards and I'm gonna have to get six so I'm gonna get one two and three four five and six I'm gonna go ahead and mark them cut them and then show you after all right so I have all the uh, a parts a cut out cut out from the uh, from the sections and uh, so now the next one that I'm gonna be cutting is K which is the next I'm going from largest to smallest 
that way it can be easier for me but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, K which is uh, the uh, 19 inch um, tall or wide whatever whatever this piece is for <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and cut them cut them uh, 36 and 1 fourth um, lengthwise so go ahead and go ahead and mark them and cut them and then uh, go from there all right so I got all the K's which are sitting right on top of the uh, A's here now this is kind of helping me <laughs> like a third hand you know when I cut them they just land on this so I'm just gonna keep them there here's another K and then I have some L's which is the leftovers from K and that just scraps that's how much it has been left um, out of these sheet so far so not not a lot of waste on it so that's I say that's pretty good um, so now this board is gonna be the M so you see that M measurements is 7 17 7 16 and this right here measure measures 17 17 17 7 16 it's a mouthful but Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and mark them and cut the uh, M, those two M's. And uh, just uh, so you can know, so since I was thinking when I was reading this right here, I was like looking at it and I was like, what? I say, so I only need one sheet, right? Uh, actually two of them. And I, I can understand and the red going across, that means that, you know, don't cut it in fourth sections one sheet this is actually one sheet two three and four four sheets and that's to make three um uh, beehives out of this uh, it says right here that you can use t uh you can buy two sheets for uh one beehive but uh i'll go ahead and got four of them that way i can just follow these instructions right here <clears throat> Um, so I'm, uh, that's why I'm gonna be doing three three beehives out of this according to the instructions. So, like I said, one sheet, two, three, and four. Does not one sheet cut in half and then I was about to do that at first and I was like, nah. So I kept I kept looking at it <clears throat> and then I, that's when I started looking at the measurements and I was like, oh okay, so that's one sheet. So. Just FYI, don't make the mistake that I was about to do. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and mark them M and then cut them up. All right, here's my leftover of the M. That that would be C. Uh, and C has a another weird measurement that uh, we don't use a lot, which it's like really precise I don't know if it's gonna be a problem with my saw and everything since I using just my hand saw later on but uh, it's calling for 18 inches and 19 30 second so 19 30 second is between 9 16 and 5 8 as you can see right here uh, it's right there between Where's it at? Oh, hold on, it's not lined up over here on this side. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. So that will be between um nine sixteenths and five eighths, I think. Hold on. You just think it's moving. Okay. There it is. Like I say, you know, it's not that precise. Um, and this measuring tape is kind of old, so every time I have to kind of like hold it here and push it in, see, because it has so much play in it, I need to get a new one. So that's a problem for me, but hopefully it's not a problem for you. 
but see as I push it in it moves like you know about maybe I don't know like sixteenth of an inch or one one inch one one and one sixteenth of an inch and uh, see it has too much play in it so every time I put my measuring tape right here I had to push into it that way I can get the uh, the measurement on this side there it is so it's between 9 16 and 5 8 but just to let you know and the easiest way to do that is you count you count uh, two right here you count two four six eight and ten that'll be uh, ten of uh, thirty second between those two and that's how you do it you, you, you pretty much count one half of that and that two will be the second line three will be between these two behind one eighth and then four will be one eighth and so on until you get to whatever number you're counting to which in this case is number 19 and that'll be right there so anyway just a little uh, side note here while I'm measuring this up so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it from here and this is gonna be one of the C's which is this part right here I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up all right I took a snapchat a snap snap on the phone so I can better uh, so I can mark whatever I've did already so the next one is gonna be B uh, which is a uh, 31 7 8 by 13 3 4 uh, this one I did mark it at the store as 13 3 4 so I'm gonna go ahead and cut, cut all the bees right here and then uh, and then show you after all right so I was running out of time uh, the uh, sun is setting now so I was trying to hurry up and cut all the pieces out everything's cut up uh, this is what's left over here over here and I do have some extra pieces that I that I bought that they got warped and I decided not to use them because I had I bought it a long time ago they're sitting over there but my plans for that is to um, I was gonna use it somewhere else and then I thought you know what I can use that to put dividers between uh, between the uh, hives I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put like maybe two hives per box and if there's more hives I mean I can probably use three of them depending on how that's gonna go in the future so Alright, so I'm over here on the where the beehive, I mean where the trap is. And uh, apparently they they come out here every time to uh, to uh, washboard. And they just go back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, okay, see if I can get closer without getting attacked. <laughs> There's some of them coming in.
All right, so tomorrow I'm going to continue uh, making the, uh, the the beehive because it's already getting. I mean, on my camera it looks brighter for sure. That's like that's a good good thing about having cameras like that. But at the same time, you cannot see the. Uh, how dark it's getting out here but uh i'm gonna leave it like this for now i'm all the boards i cut are cut to size and uh tomorrow i'll continue um with the next step i think step number three or two whatever that step is and then uh so i'll see you tomorrow all right it's actually the next following weekend uh this is a two by four this is step number two, which is cutting the uh, GR, I mean GGRR, NP, E, H, and S. Um, and I think there's another one there. I'm not sure, but I uh, already cut the 2x4. All I had to do now is get the uh, table saw and cut the strips of the GR and the, uh, the strips for everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that and then uh and then show you after all right so here are my uh parts all cut up got e p n h h s s from the top to the bottom uh r r g g so now i'm moving to step number three all right so i cut the uh little notches out the uh I think it was G, yeah, G and H, yeah, G and H. It says to use the dado. I do have a dado, but I didn't want to take my uh, table saw apart since I only have one table saw. So I just used my little jigsaw right here and then cut those little notches out with it. And, uh, but yeah, that's, that's all the cuts for that. And now I'm going to go see what step we're on. Alright, so we just got done with part step 3. Now we're going to do step 4. Which is, which is like cut those little corners out. And I'm going to use the same thing. I'm going to use my little jigsaw here. And uh, since it's kind of rain, it kind of rained. So I covered all the wood here with this plastic. Um, I have to cover everything. Cover everything and then find A and C. And then uh, once we get done with uh, step four and five, we gotta move on for, to step six, which is uh, we're gonna uh, place G and H together to make the square. So I'll be back when I get to this point. All right, so I got the uh, pieces right here, H, uh, H right here, and two Gs. <clears throat> and I uh, put it on the little notch over here um, and now this is piece number this is B not number <laughs> this is letter number B and that's supposed to go on top of this and uh, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue in here and then uh, and then go ahead and staple that on top of it um, that way it can be uh, sturdy so I'm gonna do that right now all right, so got this done, this part. So this is B on the bottom. I flipped it. I go ahead and flipped it, just like uh, over here. Now we're gonna do step uh, seven, and uh, that I just did step seven. So now I don't have uh, um, the uh, wool or whatever he uses. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use regular insulation put it in there and then uh, put the uh, M on top of that to uh, cover it all right so I have two types of insulation I have the uh, foam board which is just left over from when we put the skirting on the RV and then I have this one the uh, sound and thermal plus fire protection um, this one is like a blow-in insulation, but I already got some uh, some of the board in here, 
and uh, it's uh, three Fords. So that's supposed to be a rating of 5.69 uh, on rating. So of uh, insulation. Plus, I'm up at some of that on top of that, so I can fill it in, and then uh, and then I'll put the board on top of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So here it is. Um, got the uh, other insulation in here, and then I have this. I put some of that insulation on top of this, so I can fill in the uh, the space. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place M on top of this right here all right so there it is so staple i'm using stapler so um it's all stapled over here so now we gotta you uh go to step number nine on here it's kind of hard to see it there you go and so i'm gonna need two a's to to go on each side one here one on the other side and then uh I'm gonna put some glue on here, attach two pieces, and then show you after. All right, so there's that. Next step, we're gonna put C uh, on this side. Just like it says right here. So I think C is supposed to be higher than A. And then, and then we'll move to step 11 after that. All right, now we're on step 11. Uh, we're gonna attach S, which is this pieces, uh, right here on the sides, like just like that. And uh, uh, first it says to glue it and then staple it. So I've been gluing everything, so it doesn't say anything about gluing. It just says uh, attach. So I'm just putting glue on everything and uh, I mean, I think it should be better in my opinion, but I'm going to go ahead and attach S to this, both of the sides and then I'll show you after. Alright, now we're moving to step 12, which is we're going to attach R um, on here. This is R, so we're going to attach it on the outside. I already put some glue on there and I'm going to go ahead and attach it. I, I'm gripping it with this right here. Um, so you can I can hold it up there and then uh, I staple it then I move it I move I move it some more and you know so it can everything can be tight and squeeze that glue out of it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you after I install both of them okay there's some separation here um, the next step is gonna be a uh, two to a two and a half inch screw so that I can put this two, two together. Uh, you had to pre-drill with the uh, with the drill and then put the screw, a decking screw on there. Uh, so I'm gonna do that next. Uh, pre-drill a hole here, a hole here on the bottom, on the all corners, and then put a I have to look for my screws. I think I have like two and a half inch screws, uh, decking screws, or deck screws. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for them because I had everything already for this, but you know, it's been so long that uh, I don't know where anything is now. I had to, and I've been using the screws for everything else, so. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and look for them and then uh, pre drill and then screw them in there and then show you after. All right, so I'm done with this um, minimum gap here between them now. Uh, one thing I would like to point out to you is that uh, it looks kind of blurry, I think. Uh, make sure you get the hole on top of here. Make sure you get it big enough. Uh, oversize your head of the screw. If not, you're going to split it. Uh, I did split this one but I was able to clamp it together and put, uh, put some glue then clamp it together and uh, that worked out for me but uh, to avoid that you know make sure you just get the 
the drill uh, big enough for the uh, head of the screw that way you can go in a little bit because I have two inch screws um, and so they had to go in up to, down to here and then from there um, the head is probably right here of the screw the end of it and half of it went inside the uh, the uh, bottom piece right here so make sure you I'm just pointing that out all right I'm gonna go to the next step I don't know why it is I closed my phone but uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that all right so the next step we're gonna put E and P right there on the on the front just like here and then also N which is sitting over there that goes on the back of the of the hive so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that and then uh, and then we'll stop we we'll start with step 16 which is gonna be one side and then the other side so I'm gonna have to bring that to the ground because this is pretty high for me now and I'm a short guy so <laughs> anyways I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, E and P and then N on the back all right so there it is this E I don't know why I, I think this one was too short or something but I'm pretty sure it was more it was measured correctly because I, I just checked it too so I don't know why this has a little, a little space on the bottom so I just kind of lift it up from there and uh, butt it to the uh, center piece this right here is pretty much uh, where the holes are gonna go in kind of like at an angle up uh, for the beast to go in and out from there uh, there's gonna be three holes here um, you know after you know of course after we put the plate on front in the front and here's the back and that one was perfect perfect fit here so I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down and then uh, and then we put some insulation on the right here on the side all right, so I cut the uh, foam insulation here to size. Uh, I'm gonna put some uh, some of the other insulation on top of it. It's kind of windy right now, but hopefully it stays in there. And then uh, and then the L right here goes on top of this. I'm gonna go ahead and glue it and then put it on there, staple it on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and then show you after. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on there before it blows it. The wind blows it away, and then uh, first I'm gonna put glue on there, and then I'm gonna staple it down. But it's, I've been struggling with the wind, so uh, right now it, it stops. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. <laughs> okay, next step is gonna be number 18, 17, and 18. So we're gonna put insulation here, and then we're gonna put go ahead and put K in front of uh in front uh, right that's gonna be the front of the uh of the hive so i'm gonna go ahead and grab k and put it right there in front of it up there put insulation on it all right so got some uh some of that insulation on the bottom like i like i did on the other sides and then put some of that on the top and then now K is gonna go on top of that I'm gonna put some glue on there first and then I'll put K on there all right next step is gonna be the holes for the bees to go in measure from the end to here five and one fourth from the bottom to the top is uh, three inches and I just marked the line all the way across so from the bottom to the top three inches here to here one and one fourth and then from here to the center uh, 18 and one eighth and that's where the hole is gonna be on the center right there three holes I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the one and a half paddle uh, powder drill and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and had to do it at an angle going up 
so the water doesn't go in. So I'm gonna take care of that real quick. And there they are, three holes. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put four staples, just like that, on each hole, and then uh, take a break. All right. So according to the instructions, between 19 and 20, it says to don't work too hard take a break with some honey cakes I've never seen those around here I live in South Texas and I've never seen those maybe they are some around but I've never seen those and I don't like teas hot tea why well, I, I drink it like when it's cold outside and uh, sometimes not too often though I'd like I'd uh, rather have it like sweet and cold with ice but since you know, I mean, the South and South Texas, the only thing to deal with that is with some chips and salsa and a beer. <laughs> so, sorry, Leo. That's not going to work for me right now. Super hot outside, so I'm going to go ahead and do my thing here and uh, continue with step number 20. All right, so I got the, uh, the uh, 1x4 pieces which is w w and i go ahead and knock out the uh i got my dremel and did the cut right there on both sides just like the instructions oh that thing went to sleep but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this together with the u just like the instructions and then i'll show you after uh first i'm gonna go ahead and take care of the uh u I'm going to go ahead and take care of those holes. I have to look for that drill bit. Uh, I do have it. It's probably in the shed. but Or in the water well. I'm going to go ahead and get it. And then make those holes. And then uh, and then put go back to this one. After, after I make those holes. Alright. So I got a little ahead of, of the game here. Sun's going down. So I'm trying to get this done today. So uh, tomorrow I want to paint it. Um, if I can, I mean after work, because tomorrow's Monday. But uh, I'm gonna try to paint it tomorrow. I got done with this. The next step is gonna be the strips that I cut. Um, and uh, I guess that's so that so the lid can sit on top of that of the box but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cut the strips all the way around and then uh, and then show you after all right so this is what I have now put the uh, lid on there it's not I mean it, I don't have the hinges yet but uh, inside put uh, X and Z over here on the top um, Inside the box, I put some uh, bug uh, screen. Like the instructions say. And, uh, and that's it for now. Tomorrow, if if I can, I'm going to paint it. Uh, if I'm able to. And then uh, hopefully also tomorrow cut the... Uh, Oh man, I can't even think now. I'm so tired. The aluminum or metal. I got like metal for the roof that they use for the roof. And I can put it on here. So I'm going to cut that and put it on top of it. And and I'm done after that. So, alright. I'm going to go ahead and uh, color a day. Wrap everything up and uh, show you the hive after spinning it all right i think i got a little ahead of, my, of myself it's been i've been working on it i was running out of there like the other day and then i just started working and didn't start working until i can work this morning i just put some uh, screws around it um but uh anyways i 
I did a little bit different. I did put a little, I mean, uh, hinges on it. And I just got a, another piece from left over from the uh, from the lid when I was building the lid from the one by four. And uh, put a piece down here so I can put the hinge on the outside. And uh, and then the top is just the like I said the roofing uh, that I got from my cousin. He's a roofer, so if anybody wants some uh, roofing done. Or anything else, you know, his, they do they do work on uh, remodeling and stuff like that. Uh, it's gonna be on the, I think it's got a website. It's gonna be on the link. And the it's gonna be there's gonna be a link on the description below. So if you're interested on that, anyways, I got some. Uh, it, it goes on the roof, kind of like when there, there's a channel going down. If there's like a eave right here, they put like between it. So, but the, there's that, and then the front, I still had to get a hinge for here. I don't have one, and uh, I'm gonna put it right here. Maybe one of those little ones that you just hinge down, and it's just a piece, and then I put some chains on the outside. So I can hold the lid there so it doesn't go flying to the front and possibly hit the front of the bee. I know well this is this will stop it, but still, you know, so it doesn't go all the way to the front. Um holds it right there. And uh over here I was thinking about putting some uh, little bit of insulation. I have left over. Whatever is left over, I'm gonna put it up there. Um and and that's it. Oh yeah, over here I just put some wire since I don't have uh, that mesh with the bigger square so bees can go in and out like a mouse. So the mouse uh, mice doesn't get in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oh yeah, I noticed too at the uh, on my trap. I did go in there the other day. I looked in there and I didn't see a queen in there. So I might have a, a swarm without a without a queen. So that's that's not good, but I might look at it as kinda of like help me helping me out for maybe spring of next year. If uh they do have some comb drawn out. So that actually benefits me for trapping bees uh for spring. It attracts the bees, you know, the smell of uh, old bees so I'm uh, I'm not an expert on bees, but that's what I've been hearing that uh, that they attract uh, bees. You know, the comb already drawn. It's easier for them to just move in, and they do have some comb drawn. I'm gonna open it up here and then show you probably on my uh, whenever I do the transfer from the trap to the uh, to the hive. But like I said, you know, I didn't see it, uh, a lot of bees going in and out. The other, uh, I think it was yesterday. And I think they're just kind of like dying dying out since they didn't have a queen. But I'm going to go back over there and check on it today and see what's going on. Alright. Um, so I think I'm done with this. I am. Um, Alright, my battery died earlier. But uh, this is uh, pretty much done. I go ahead and I... Uh, Puts the uh, insulation. Oh, wrong, wrong side. I place the insulation on the on the bottom there, and uh, so I'm ready to go. And this right here is just the little divider I made. Um, extra, you know, it has some extra playing around. And it's kind of warped. That's why I didn't use it in the beginning. So I don't know if that's gonna if that's gonna work on it, but uh, I'm just gonna you know from the frames that I made uh, uh, last year, I'm just gonna use one of those tops and then get something more straight and then put it in there. And on and on on the bottom, 
you know some people they leave like room so they can come on this side so they don't don't feel like uh swarming because they still feel like they have a bunch of room in there but if i'm gonna have uh, two hives in one hopefully um maybe three i don't know depending on how it goes but I'm planning on doing something like that, blocking the whole entire area so colonies don't be mixing around. And then probably, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, probably queens start fighting and kill each other or something. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, uh, that's my plans. And uh, I'm pretty much done with this. Uh, with this hive, all I need is just the that little hinge right here and that's it so uh, if you want to see the uh, how I made the uh, traps it's gonna be up there I think I already said that but anything you know if you want to check out how the progress on this how I've been doing it uh, the top is the same thing as what I use on my traps I think on some of the traps I just painted them and I didn't put anything on top. Um, but the one that I cut the bees on, it did have a little um, metal on the top. This is metal. Uh, there's aluminum apparently that you can buy. But uh, I just used this metal because it was given to me. So, anyways, uh, if you like this video, make sure you like, hit the like button, and uh, subscribe to the channel. I, I will really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to support my, me and my family, uh, there's a link down below so you can get some uh, spray shirts. Uh, maybe in the future, you know, if everything goes well, I'll be create, maybe making some uh, design for honeybees and stuff like that, bee related. But uh, so right now, you know, just go and check that out. And uh, The corners, I know supposed to, I'm supposed to do some kind of trim there on the corners. I'll probably do that later since I haven't gone to the store in a, in a while. Everything that I had, I already had it uh, from when I started building the hives. I mean the hives, the traps. Um, but that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and I really appreciate uh, your support. And like I said, make sure you subscri do subscribe and if you, if you want to continue watching this or any other uh, content that I put on there. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching.